Today's topic of discussion is MOS test. So MOS test is used to find indicated power or frictional power of each cylinder of a multi-cylinder IC engine. Here we have taken four cylinders. So this will be done without using indicator diagram. Here you can see a brake dynamometer. So these are the four cylinders and this is brake dynamometer. So when all cylinders are in operation, as you can see over here, all the cylinders are in operation. Brake power of the engine is measured by brake dynamometer. So we'll use I1, I2, I3 and I4 as indicated power of cylinder 1, 2, 3 and 4. Similarly, we will use F1, F2, F3 and F4 as frictional power of cylinder 1, 2, 3 and 4. So brake power of the engine can be calculated as total indicated power minus total frictional power. For finding total indicated power, we have to add the indicated power of all the cylinders. For finding the total frictional power, we have to add the frictional power of all the cylinders. So we can write it as I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4, that is the total indicated power. And total frictional power, we can write it as F1 plus F2 plus F3 plus F4. So we got brake power of an engine. Okay. You have to remember this formula because this formula we will use it again. So, first what we will be doing, cylinder 1 we will be cutting off so that it does not develop any power. So, how this will be done? For petrol engine, short circuiting the spark plug of cylinder 1. Okay. For diesel engine, what we will be doing? Cutting off the fuel supply of the cylinders. So, by doing that, what we will be doing? We will be cutting off cylinder number 1. Okay. So, when cylinder number 1 is cut off, then we can say I1, that is indicated power for cylinder 1 is equal to 0, but frictional loss of the cylinder remains same. So, brake power of the remaining cylinders will be BP1, that is brake power when cylinder 1 is cut off will be equal to 0 because here I1 is 0 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4 minus total frictional power of the cylinders that is F1 plus F2 plus F3 plus F4 that is the summation. Okay, so here what we have done, we have cut off cylinder number 1 and found brake power of the remaining 3 cylinders. So next what we have done, BP minus BP1. So as I told you, you have to remember the formula of BP. So here we have put the formula of BP and minus the formula of BP1. So what will happen because of this subtraction? Here it will be minus I2, minus I3, minus I4, minus F1, minus F2, minus F3, minus F4. So after subtracting what we will have is I1. So we got BP minus BP1 is equal to I1. So we can say indicated power of cylinder 1 is I1 is equal to BP minus BP1. So here this formula will be helpful now because we will find the indicated power of other cylinders also by using the same method. So now what we will be doing, we will cut off cylinder 2, 3, 4, okay, one by one and we will find brake power of the remaining three cylinders. So what we can do, we can cut off for example cylinder number 2 and then we can find brake power of the remaining three cylinders. Then we will cut off cylinder number 3 and we will find the brake power of the remaining 3 cylinder. Then we will cut off cylinder number 4 and we will find the brake power of the remaining 3 cylinders. So by doing that we will have indicated power of cylinder number 2 that is I2 is equal to PP minus PP2. Indicated power of cylinder number 3 that is I3 is equal to BP minus BP3. And indicated power of cylinder number 4, that is I4, is equal to BP minus BP4. So here we have found indicated power of cylinder number 1, cylinder number 2, cylinder number 3, cylinder number 4. So total indicated power of the engine, as we know, that is IP is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4. And what we can do, we can put what we got from here, that is BP minus BP1. BP minus BP2, BP minus BP3, BP minus BP4. Because here total indicated power as we know summation of indicated power of all the cylinders. So by doing that what we have done 
BP over here we have taken because it is all positive we have taken here and whatever is negative we have taken here that is BP1, BP2 and BP3 and BP4. So here we have 4 here so what we can say that is IP that is indicated power is equal to 4 times BP minus BP1 minus BP2 minus BP3 minus BP4. So here if I take the minus sign as common so I can write IP that is total indicated power of the engine is equal to 4 into BP that is brake power minus BP1 that is when the cylinder 1 is cut off plus BP2 when the cylinder 2 is cut off plus BP3 when the cylinder 3 is cut off plus BP4 when the fourth cylinder is cut off. So here we got the formula for finding the total indicated power of the engine by cutting off cylinders one by one okay so this formula gives total indicated power okay so we have calculated indicated power of individual cylinders that is cylinder number one cylinder number two cylinder number three and cylinder number four and here we have total indicated power of the engine now let us move to frictional power here when we started we started with brake power is equal to indicated power minus frictional power so we can say frictional power is indicated power minus brake power so frictional power that is fp is equal to ip minus bp so here we have calculated the indicated power as well as frictional power so hope you like this video please like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching goodbye